Hi everyone, and welcome back again. In 2002, a new cartridge called the 223 WSSM was introduced. The parent cartridge is the 404 Jeffrey cartridge. It's shortened and knocked down. Here's a 223 Remington for comparison. Also, its siblings, the 243 and 25 WSSMs, are the next down 404 Jeffrey. Here's the 243. And that's the 25. This round is truly impressive and ridiculous looking at the same time. Bullets for the 223 WSSM come in weights of around 40 grains up to 75 grains. You would have to determine your barrel twist rate to make sure which bullet weights would be right for your rifle. The 223 WSSM round is fast and can be hard on barrels with max velocities ranging from about 4,600 feet per second for a 40 grain bullet to 3,700 feet per second for a 68 grain bullet. Max cartridge overall length of this round is about 2.360. The max case length is 1.670. Quite short, but massively fat. This magnum case is beltless, so it head spaces on the shoulder. Care should be taken when reloading this round as pressures can increase without warning. A short time ago, I acquired a much abused 2004 Browning A Bolt II field model in this cartridge. The stock was beat up, probably from being thrown in a truck bed or cab with whatever else was in there. The barrel and the bolt were rusty and most of the bluing was gone. I tackled the metal with about 400 grit, ending with 1500 grit before buffing the parts with polishing compound and then re-bluing. My wife had the big job of stripping the stock and what a super hard finish it was to take off. She hand rubbed oh, about five coats of oil finish and polished with pumice then rotten stone to give a smooth but satin finish. I'll turn the gun over for you to see. The check ring was cleaned and recut as well. I forgot to take a video of uh, the before condition, but we'll insert some photos here. This rifle only weighs six pounds without the scope. The twist rate is 1 and 10 inches. The barrel on this gun is quite light, but I guess that's why they called it the field model for easy carry. The bore in this rifle is surprisingly good, but very neglected as it needed a good cleaning and decoppering job done. The rings needed to be cleaned of surface rust and re -blued. And these rings originally came with the rifle and were marked Browning WSSN. I also had to repaint the alloy uh, magazine um, The gun came with a Bushnell 3 to 9 and showed much of the same abuse as the rifle. I rescoped it with a Vortex Crossfire 
6018 power. It seems that this gun was asking to be rescued. I'll use that excuse anyway. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.